Hi there guys, James here from TrackCat and today I'm going to introduce you to mapping in TrackCat OpenTrack. Now before you change any of the mapping settings there is one quick thing you need to do and that is set a hotkey to centre your view. To do that open the options menu in TrackCat OpenTrack and you can set the hotkeys here. Now the next thing you need to do is open the game of your choice. I'm going to use Armour for this demonstration. Let's jump into that now. As you can see I'm spinning my head around and it's moving very very quickly. I'm barely moving but the game is spinning around all over the place. So I'm going to jump back into TrackCat OpenTrack. Open up the mapping window. Now on this graph, along the bottom axes, the x-axis, is the real life movement of your head. In the y-axis is the in-game movement. So as you can see, every 10 degrees of real life movement equals about 180 degrees of in-game movement. That's way too much. A comfortable setting for me in armour is about 50 to 180. Let's jump, jump back into the game and see how that looks. Much better, much smoother. This way I can see pretty much in a 360 degree field of view with no problem at all. Now let's jump back into the mapping setting because there's one more quick thing I recommend that you do. The first thing you should do is create two more points along the graph. Drag the leftermost one all the way down into the bottom left hand corner. And then take the second one and put it just behind it a little bit higher so that you get a nice curve at the beginning of the graph. This little curve will mean that the head tracking will be much smoother when you first start moving and make the experience much more enjoyable. I've done this on your pitch and roll, and you can adjust these as you see fit. Anyway guys, that was a quick introduction on how to do head mapping in TrackCat OpenTrack. Remember to email me at james at if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching.